Honor is using a very advanced camera application that we might know already from Huawei. But by default, its AI mode is disabled. And we want to figure out in this video why that is. I will do a comparison between AI mode activated and deactivated. And we will see which differences uh, this makes. So let's get started. So here we have the camera app of the Honor 50 and we can see that the AI mode is disabled. If I tap on this, you get AI photography enabled and you can see that it is really switching something within the camera as well. Um, but I have to say on first glance, I don't notice any difference when disabling or enabling it. The only thing is like it is detecting scenes like greenery, you know. I disable it this goes away so on screen you don't notice much of a difference but when taking a photo let's take a photo of this greenery that it detected and then disable this and take again the same shot we have a difference in yeah in its processing that we can see here but uh, is there really a difference that's the question. Let's compare some photos and I will do this live now because people were complaining I was not doing um, enough photo comparisons and I really don't like to dub over the comparisons and uh, it's a lot of editing work. This is why I'm doing a screen record here. Now of course the original pictures will be in the link so you can take a look at this but uh, yeah, bear with me with this little app uh, called Photo Compare that I downloaded, which allows me to compare them by panning and zooming. So on the top, we will always see the AI enhanced photo and on the bottom, the natural one. And what we can say directly from first time, even without me zooming in is, this is not much of a difference. Uh, take a look at the sky, at the exposure, at colors, even though in this first shot, it was like, um, yeah, the greenery option that, that came up, there's not much of a difference here. Even if I zoom in here, maybe a little bit of sharper uh, sharpness applied on the AI one in comparison to the non-AI one, but this is negligible. As you can see here, there's not much of a difference. Also the same problem on the edges where it's getting a little bit of yeah, uh, details that it lost and a little bit of unsharp. And even the colors and the color rendition is exactly the same. Let's take a look at some other shots here. I will go one by one through all of those shots that I did. I did a little bit more, but those are the shots that I can uh, and will show you as well. And you will have the option to see them also in the link. Um, here again, if we zoom in uh, 175%, you can see maybe a slightly a bit of sharpening going on on the top, which is the yeah, AI image, but in general, not much. And you will see this the same uh, with all the other photos. Like, let's take those here again on top. Uh, the one with the older timestamp is the one uh, from the AI zoom. And when we take a look here, AI zoom without AI zoom, I don't see a difference. Do you see a difference? Colors are same. Sharpness maybe a slightly bit sharper here around this little uh, leaf. But this is like negligible. Also noise floor, you can see here a little bit more noise that looked like it has been, there's a sharpening filter going on. On top of the picture, here's also a little bit noise, so also sharpening going on, but not as much. But it's very hard to tell, I have to say. Uh, let's go to the next one, which is this one here. And here both have uh, totally wrong colors, I would say. But here we can see a difference. The AI one, for some reason, has not only totally yeah, wrong colors, even wronger colors, but for some reason it is overblown and over highlighted as you can see here. 
the details uh, the detail is lost and uh, down here the detail is there so this is the more grainy image as you can see here on the side uh, maybe the same graininess and here it seems like it's moved it out and yeah stuff is getting lost in the detail here so here it's more grainy definitely here's on the top it's more smooth but uh, yeah information is lost and this is yeah if i zoom in I have to zoom into extremes, otherwise you don't see it. If I zoom out here one by one, it almost looks the same picture. Then uh, another one where I think if you really, really have to pixel people, like even in this um, setup right now, you don't see 50% zoom, you don't see a difference. Let's go to uh, exactly the 100 times zoom like this do you see any difference let's be honest like colors sharpness probably not you have to zoom even further now we are at 175 the app cannot do more and if i take a look at the hair here maybe very slightly a bit of sharpening applied on the top one but it's negligible like i said you have to zoom in so much that you don't notice it so i thought okay let's do some shots in the dark but even those look the same as you can see here it's <laughs> not much of a difference we are not exactly 100 percent 100 percent do you see any difference it's really hard to see here i think at the ear you can see that it's not really sharp on the top one the AI, ai one and the bottom one got it sharp and i think it is in general a bit smoother here on the ai one also the background blur but the rest is like so much the same there's almost no difference at all um, noise uh, almost the same yeah so where are the differences then so maybe in zoom shots so let's take a look at uh, zoom shots this is now the two times digital zoom that it shows um, as an option it has 108 megapixels so it should have this zoom just by it should be like a natural zoom without any loss because it's just cropping into the sensor uh i don't see a difference <laughs> to be honest i really don't see a difference here between those zoom shots everything the same colors shadows sharpness yeah it's the same i don't see a difference here at all i have to say then uh, i missed i think a few photos here this photo i think the bokeh test photo oh it zoomed a little bit too much in with the frogs here and the out of focus area do we see any difference here colors are the same the greens are the same even if it detects green greenery here on the top uh, the greens look exactly the same i'm not sure what this ai is doing on on our phones it looks like it's not doing anything at least in this I converted for greenery for landscapes and so on it all looks the same even colors like i thought ah, maybe red with the, with the flower i tried it but then i tried a bucket a red bucket but even this one looks exactly the same so the exactly same color rendition no difference at all here then uh, let's try out uh, what is it five times zoom i think yeah five times zoom so on top the uh, one with the ai enabled and the other one uh, down here without ai and i thought maybe yeah, it's optimizing for 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 text or something like this it was detecting text i have to say if you take it like here it's 100 percent and scroll no not really any sharper at all you have to zoom in a little bit more to see is there a difference and even in noise performance i would say no nah, not really no nah not really a difference here also with the digital 
uh, zoom five times that I performed here. Here, macro shots. How about macro shots? Yeah, finally I found a difference, as you can see here. So the leaf both is sharp, but the background is also sharp here on the top and on the bottom not. But then if you take a closer look, you see, ah, the focus point is different. Because here the front is out of focus, here the front is in focus more. So this is uh, the shadow depth of field that makes like the difference here. So even here, 100%, uh, absolutely no difference, just that focus point was a different one that it shows uh, in this case. So you can see the flower down here, 175% is sharper than on the top where it's a bit blurry and the background is a little more sharp. So only focus point difference when it comes to this. So what else? Yeah, um, before I go to the ultra dark mode, let's take a look at portrait. And this is interesting. First of all, it's a portrait of me, so I apologize for this already. But this is the only, and I repeat, the only difference I found with AI enabled. What AI does is it smoothens out everything. So let's let's go first of my shirt. No difference at all. I would say maybe a slightly bit brighter on the shirt on the top on the AI one. But here, the picture, you can see, oh, it added some beauty effect. I look like 10 years younger on the top. And on the bottom, 10 years older. Uh, as you can see here, my beard smoothened out with the um, top one. And also all my uh, skin problems, probably, uh, smoothened out on the top one. So here, really in portrait mode, I can see a difference with AI enabled. AI enabled is basically the same thing as if you would take it into beauty or portrait mode with beauty effect enabled. So it is not changing anything on my eyes, I think, or s making my double chin a bit uh, smaller. Uh, it's just smooth smoothening out the skin. Uh, this is what, what's, what's happening here. You can see much more detail <laughs> on my forehead here and uh, yeah, smoothening out. So this is the only difference I found when it comes to using the AI mode on the Honor 50. And I can show you this again. I was skeptical. Maybe the AI mode detected night mode. Maybe it is doing some night photography extra stuff. Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely no. 100% again, I would say not much of a difference. Maybe slightly out of focus here on the bottom and a bit more in focus on the top. If we zoom in more, yeah. Um, again, the slightly out of focus on the on the bottom and on the top a little bit more in focus. You can also see this here, I think, with the water droplets a little bit. It could be my imagination. So close here, even the logos and so on. Maybe, yeah, there's more processing uh, going on here and it's a little bit more readable and here's more noise. So, yeah, the AI mode maybe used a little bit more, no a little less noise as an extra... But this is like... So, in general, like you can see here, the AI mode is basically doing nothing. This is why, besides like the portrait mode where it's like smoothing the skin. So this is why um, Honor probably has it disabled, the AI mode. But uh, all in all, a little bit disappointing, I would say, the Honor 50's AI mode. Only there for beauty effect couldn't be that the normal portrait mode and why is it deactivated by default when activated maybe it is applying a little bit of more sharpening in there i don't know you have to ask honor for this uh, maybe this uh, ai mode on the uh, honor 50 is also broken i really don't know what what it's supposed to be uh, if you find another scenario where the ai mode is kicking in and changing stuff more aggressively than what I found out besides portrait mode, then write it down in the comment section. I'm very interested to hear about that. Otherwise, that's everything for this little video of the Honor 50's AI mode and why it is disabled. It's disabled because it's not doing anything besides smoothening the skin in portrait mode. Now we know. Glad, gladly that I did test and try it out. And now you can if you buy your Honor 50, no, okay, 
better not activating the AI mode. That's everything for this video. If you like this video in independent content creation and tests like these, where I test out different features and functions of smartphones, even smartphones that I had already tested and tried out earlier, and uh, yeah, I'm discovering new stuff, I'm reporting to you, even if updates arrive and fix stuff or change stuff, I'm reporting to you, um, then please like and subscribe as well. So this helps me as a tester to get more testing devices. There is something coming in the next week that I can also compare against the Honor 50. So um, yeah, uh, take a look at uh, my videos and subscribe. And that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.